שלום ישבה, שלום. כל הלילים, על ההיה נוע, יחוע, בהשם, יאושי, בהשם רקע קודש. תבלן את הפסוס. And elders are great most of them to teach well and rule well. Peace and salutation to the Akim, fellow laborers, a hopeful head. Pushing this truth that risks the whole nights throughout the four corners of the earth. To the Akwa, the listening, listening, and learning. Shalom. Shabbat Shema from the Pillars of Benjamin camp. Here with another lesson. And we'll get right into it. You know? Right? This article, Zero Hedge, have the Emics of 2022 already started. Wouldn't it be great if we could have a year without any major pestilences? 2019 seems like it was so long ago, and we, and we may never see another year like it. All of the measures that global authorities have imposed to try to end the Emic have failed. And now we are being told that we are just going to have to live with the juice on a permanent basis. And this new one has shown us that a new juice can sweep across the entire globe in just a matter of weeks. Meanwhile, there are several new outbreaks that are unrelated to the juice that I'm going to be keeping a very close eye on as we enter 2022. For example, we're being told that there is a massive bird flu outbreak in Israel right now. The following comes from a Daily Beast article entitled, Massive New Bird Flu Outbreak Could Be 2022's Deadly Emic. Right, the Mosai is visiting this place, man. Without, a, with beyond a sh without any doubt, the Mosai is visiting this place. Right, let's get a scripture. Second Ezra 16, verse 14, it reads, Behold, the plagues are sent and shall not return again. Right? The Most High has set loose these, let loose these plagues on the world, man. And they're not going to stop. Right? And shall not return again until they come upon the earth. Right? They're not going to stop. The fire is kindled. Right? This fire is lit. And shall not be put out till it consume the foundation of the earth. Let's go back to this article and we'll continue where we left off. Right? The Mosai has let is, this is the works of the Mosai Al Bashim Yah Shai. Right? A wacky tacky will have you believe the Lord Power Yah Bashim Yah Shai does no evil, right? Does nothing wicked, right? The Mosai is not wicked, but the Mosai delegates. Death angels, right, to carry out judgment, man, right? Wacky Tacky will teach that the Mosai does not do, do anything bad. That's Shatan. Shatan is answering to Yahweh B'Shem Yahweh Shai, right? Isaiah 45, verse 7, right? Shatan doesn't do things on his own, on, on his own accord like Wacky Tacky will teach you, Right? Isaiah 45, verse 7, it reads, I form the light and create darkness. Who? Yahweh. I make peace and create evil. I make peace and create evil. I, the Lord, Yahweh, do all these things, right? The Mosai, Yahweh Shai, is the author, the orchestrator, the director of this movie, man. The, 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 everything that's going on is the Mosai, Yahweh Shimon Shai's movie. Go back to this article. Israel's National Security Council has assumed control of the massive bird flu outbreak in the Galilee, which scientists warn could become a mass disaster for humans. Over half a billion migrating birds pass through the area every year, heading for warm African waters, Salak, heading for warm African winters or balmy European summers, making this a catastrophic location for a major bird flu outbreak right at the nexus of global avian travel. If you, do a if you do a Google search for H5N1, you will find that the bird flu outbreaks have literally been reported all over the planet. So this isn't just happening in Israel. But the reason why what is taking place in Israel is so alarming is because birds are dropping dead in such large numbers. 
Of the 30,000 Eurasian cranes passing this winter at the Hula Nature Reserve, 17% are dead, and scientists fear the worst for their surviving brethren, at least 10,000 of which appear to be ailing. The infection of the cranes is the same strain of avian flu which infected chicken coops throughout northern Israel and led to the call in recent days of nearly 1 million birds. The good news is that so far there are no confirmed human cases of H5N1 in Israel. Of course that could change at any time and once H5N1 starts spreading among humans it has a very high death rate. The virus can be deadly if it infects people. The WHO says more than half of the confirmed 860, 863 human cases it has tracked since 2003 prove fatal, right? That's a high mortality rate. Here in the U.S., officials are deeply concerned about a widespread outbreak of an undiagnosed respiratory illness in northern Ohio. Public Health exclusively tells Dayton 24-7 now undiagnosed respiratory illnesses are popping up in the Miami Valley, Cleveland area, and across the northern tier of Ohio. Health experts say symptoms are similar to the flu, but patients aren't testing positive for influenza or, or a crown. Charles Patterson, Clark County Combined Health District's health commissioner explains there's no way to know how many confirmed cases of this illness are in the state since there's no case definition for it. Hopefully they'll find out what this mystery disease is soon because it doesn't sound good. On the other side of the globe, a different mystery disease has killed close to 100 people in South Sudan. Let's get a scripture, man. Right? Second Ezra 16, verse 16. Like as an arrow which is shot of a mighty archer returneth not backward, even so, the plagues that shall be sent upon the earth shall not return again. Right? There's no stopping to these plagues that the Most High has let loose on the world, man. Woe is me! Woe is me! Who will deliver me in those days? Right? This is the this is the prophet Ezra. Right? Because he he visualized he 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 received visions of the days that we're in right now, man. And it was so bad and horrific to him. He said, woe is me, woe is me. Who will deliver me in those days? These are the times we're about to embark on, man. Right? These plagues are set forth, man. Right? We ain't seen nothing yet. Back to our article. On the other side of the globe, a different mystery disease has killed close to 100 people in South Sudan. The illness has so far claimed the lives of 97 people in Fangak, Jugle State in the northern part of the South Sudan. On Thursday, Fangat County Commissioner Biel Boutros Biel said an elderly woman's death came as a, as a result of an unidentified illness. South Sudan's Ministry of Health has said that the, that the disease has mainly affected the elderly and children under 14. It is also said that the symptoms of the mysterious illness include cough, diarrhea, fever, headaches, joint pain, loss of appetite, body weakness, and chest pain. Wu officials were deployed to the region to investigate the illness, but they reportedly left the area without revealing their findings to local officials. Initially, health officials thought that this might be a cholera outbreak, but testing has ruled out that possibility. Last but certainly not least, the new one is causing widespread panic all over the world. In New York, the number of confirmed cases set another brand new record high on December 24th. Right, we know all about this one, this new one. The media don't stop plug this one, right? The new one, right? The ending, the ending paragraph. Unfortunately, our entire planet is now being ravaged by sickness and disease, and a return to normal is simply not in the cards, right? And who? Who is authorizing the planet to be ravaged by sickness and disease? Yahweh. By Shem Yahweh Shai. Second Ezra 16, verse 18. The beginning of sorrows and great mourning. Right? Well, this is just the beginning, man. The beginning of famine and great death. The beginning of wars 
And the power shall stand in fear, right? These rulerships, these governments, they're standing in fear. The beginning of evils. What shall I do when these evils shall come? Right? This is, this is Ezra's asking the angel, what shall I do? Right? Right? So these are the beginning. These are the beginning of times like no other, man. We'll close out with Daniel 12. And unless you have the, 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 the Mosai, unless you are the elect, Lord willing, or of that number, you have that Tawab, that mark of exemption. If sword don't catch you, famine will catch you. If famine don't catch you, internment camp gonna catch you. If internment camp don't catch you, pestilence gonna catch you. If that don't catch you, ultimately the, 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 the ultimate one being the ICBMs are intercontinental ballistic missiles, man. Right? Daniel 12, verse 1. And at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince, which standeth for the children of thy people. Right? Michael the archangel. Right? Standing up for the children of thy people. Whose people? Yahweh Bashim Yahshai. Who are the Israelites? Beginning with the elect on this side. Right? And there shall be a time of trouble such as never was since there was a nation, even to that same time, right? This time, these times of trouble, the time that is coming upon the whole world is a time like none other. And at that and at that time, thy people shall be delivered, the elect. Every one that should be found written in the book, the elect. Right? The elect. So unless you're sealed, unless you have that mark of exemption, unless you are the elect, Lord willing over that number, you're through out here, man. Right? And it's evident the most high is making moves, man. It's evident. It's clear as day. Stay prayed up. Prayed out ceasing. Kwame Shravala. Wa abad. Babal.